Hello, this tutorial will cover retrieving prices in Fund Manager. Fund Manager can retrieve both current and historical pricing data from a wide variety of free quote servers. We'll show how to retrieve prices and go over a few of the options related to price retrieval. To initiate a price retrieval, click on the PRC button on the toolbar to get current prices or use Edit Internet Retrieve Prices. You can see that went out and quickly updated our current prices for all of our open investments. In addition to current prices, you can get historical prices. This can be useful if you don't retrieve current prices every day or you're setting up some new investments and would like historical pricing. Use the HST button on the toolbar or the Edit Internet Retrieve Historical Prices menu command. When you retrieve historical prices, you're prompted for a date range. In this case, we'll just retrieve back to the beginning of this month. And it's going to go out and update historical prices for all of our open investments for this month. When using the toolbar buttons to update prices, all your open investments are updated. In some cases, you may want to only update certain investments. Let's say you buy a new stock and would like to get back history for only this new stock without updating any other existing investments. You can do this by right mouse clicking on a selected investment and choose to retrieve only the selected prices. We'll demonstrate this by switching over to the portfolio editor window and only updating Disney. We'll just right mouse click and say retrieve selected price. It went out and updated Disney, but it didn't go out and update any of the other investments. Let's show how you can use this when you're setting up a new investment. We'll create a new sub-portfolio for a watch list. And inside this watch list sub-portfolio, we'll add a new stock. I'll just enter a price of one because I don't know what it is as of today and I won't own, I won't own any shares so we'll just leave that blank. And we'll save our investment. And then we'll go out and get historical prices for it. Right mouse click on it and say retrieve selected historical prices. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the year. You can also get current prices for just this investment by saying retrieve selected price. We'll open this investment up in the data register and take a look at our pricing history. And you can see that we've got historical prices all the way back to the beginning of the year. You can also have Fund Manager automatically request prices every so many minutes. To do this, go to the Options menu and go to Internet Settings and see the, the option Automatic Retrieve. When you turn that on, you'll have some options available under this Frequency button. You can choose however many minutes you want to do an Automatic Retrieve and you can specify a time range within the day to do these. You can also say don't do it on weekends and don't interrupt me while I'm working. When retrieving prices, Fund Manager uses your investment symbol and requests that symbol from a quote server. You can choose which quote server to retrieve from. There is a global default quote server you select in this dialog box under Options Internet Settings. And you can see right now the global default quote server is set to Yahoo and the global historical quote server is set to Yahoo Historical. In addition to this global default, you can override the selected quote server on a per investment basis. This is done under the properties of each investment. So if I right mouse click on a particular investment and go to properties, I can click on the Internet Retrieve tab. And here's where I can override for this one investment how to retrieve prices. I can say don't retrieve any prices for this investment which is what you would typically want to do for things like cash. 
or I could say leave it to go to the default server, which I've set to Yahoo, or if I wanted to use any other server, I could switch it right here. There's some other advanced options here that you can read about in the online help. If you have a particular investment that's not updating from your regular default quote server, you may want to take a look at our available quote servers. You can find a list of them by going to Options, Internet Settings, and clicking on Web Help. This will open up a web browser, which I'll switch over to. It will show you this page on our website, which talks about retrieving prices and lists all of the available quote servers that we support as well as specific instructions on each on using each one of them. If you want to use a particular quote server, you can just browse to it by clicking on the link and go to that server and see if they offer the quote that you need and figure out what the symbol is on that quote server. Once you know what quote server has your quote and the symbol that they're using, go back to Fund Manager. And under the properties of this investment, you want to record the symbol as it is on that quote server and select which quote server you found that symbol on. And then it will update from that quote server going forward. In addition to retrieving prices from quote servers, Fund Manager will also automatically update your prices when retrieving transactions, even when there are no new transactions. So if we were to retrieve transactions for this account from the broker, um, when we go through this process, it will update the prices for all your investments. This can be useful for special investments that are difficult to find quoted on the regular quote servers. You can view all your recorded closing prices in the data register by clicking on this data register button or choosing edit all data. In the data register, there's a uh, drop down here for data type. And if you set that to prices, you can view all your recorded closing price history. Fund Manager also supports command line arguments for automating unattended price updates. See the online help for documentation on how to use these command line arguments. This concludes the price updating tutorial. Thanks for watching.